Hello everyone, this is Reza from Radacad and today I want to explain to you what is Power Query Merge versus Append. You have two different data sources, two different data tables and you want to combine these two data sources and the two data tables together. You have two options, Merge or Append. What is the difference? And uh, this rule apply in Power Query in Excel, Power Query in Power BI and everywhere else that you use Power Query. Let's check this option. Power Query has two options for combining data sources together. Option number one is called Append, which is similar to the way of combining data sources together in SQL or relational data sources called Union. Uh, this is the scenario that you use when you uh, have two data sources, two data tables with exactly the same uh, structure, same number of columns, same data types, same column names, but the data is different. Let's say budget for 2018, budget for 2019. Instead of bringing those two tables separately and then writing lots of calculations to combine these together in DAX, right of writing lots of measures, in Power Query, you can actually append them together. Same rule applies when you have uh, students of course one, students of course two. You have to combine them together with uh, an option called append. Let's check it out. Here I have a Excel data source and uh, this data source is explaining um, students of one course. These are information about the students, ID of each student, uh, the first name of student, last name of student and the course that they are enrolled. I also have another uh, sheet in the same Excel file. This can come from another data source as well. This may come from SQL Server, may come from a web data source or anywhere else. Uh, which has exactly the same structure, ID, first name, last name, course. But these are students of different course. And the first one was the students of English course. This is the students of the math course. Uh, I want to bring these two data into Power BI here. I have a Power BI um, uh, desktop report, which doesn't have any data. I'm going to choose getting data from Excel and I choose that data source to get data from. And in this data set, uh, um, okay, let me close the file. In this data set, I have three tables, but I'm just selecting uh, two of these, which is course one students and course two students for now. Uh, then I click on edit. If I load these tables exactly as is in Power BI, I end up with two tables. This is my Power Query window. I end up with two tables, course one students, course two, stu course two students, exactly the same. And then there would be no point because every time I want to calculate something, give me all the students of all courses, I have to write a measure give me um, something that is across both tables, I have to write a measure. Uh, it is always best to combine these kind of structure together. And because they are the same structure, I will be using append. So let's see how I can use append. I can select one of these tables. Um, it doesn't matter which one, let's say this one. And then in the home tab, if you go to the far right of the home tab, you will see this option append queries or append queries as new. Um, when you choose append queries as new, it will keep the existing queries as it is. Uh, it will not change them, it will keep them as is, and it will create a new query result of combining those two. If you use normal append queries, it will change the existing query to be result of appending uh, the two or three or whatever it is. Uh, if you want to keep your existing queries intact, uh, append as new is usually a better option. I'm going to choose append as new. It will ask what is my primary table, which is course one students and secondary table. You can also choose, uh, so you can choose two tables like that, or if you have three or more tables, go to three or more tables option and add tables into this section. Uh, here I have course one and course two students only. I click on OK and this will combine them together. So this is now result of combining those. You can see I have five rows here, uh, which three of these is coming from query one 
and two of these is coming from query two let's say this is one this is two uh, these zeros are coming from record one uh, uh, query one this is coming from query two because it's exactly the same structure it will append only these after each other now if i load it into power bi i can easily put a slicer on course and depends on the course that i select i will see only courses in that area if i don't put a slicer i will see the total number so one single table will serve all requirements that i have one of the things that you need to be careful about append is that append will not remove duplicates what that means that means if you have a row exist in uh, students of course one and the same row exists in students course two for some reason exactly the same row same number same values in all columns result of append will include both re records it will not remove that you have to uh, go to the option of remove duplicates to remove it this behavior is similar to union all in tsql for those of you who may come from database background so append is a good option for combining data sources when you have um, to similar data structures but different data. So the important option after append is that it will not remove uh, duplicates. In case that you have duplicates it will have those duplicates but then you can use options like this remove duplicates, remove rules, remove duplicates. Remove duplicates will remove uh, duplicates across all columns but first you have to select all the columns with control or shift and then after that choose remove duplicates because remove duplicates depends on which column you select uh, so combination of append and remove duplicates will give you a result appended result which doesn't have any duplicates okay you want to do append but your data sources are slightly different one of them has one column the other one doesn't one of them has a column with different name the other one has different name columns what happens if you append if you append the append result will not give you an error you will not have an error but you will have one column for the data source a which has one column extra uh, for the data source uh, b it will be all null in that section uh, or if uh, they have two two different names like uh, student name without a space the other one is student name with space then you have two columns as the output a student name without space a student name with space one of them has null for the other data source another have null for this data source so um, it is always best practice to do uh, cleaning data before appending those data sources otherwise you might get into issues of having a lot of extra columns another important tip after combining data sources is to make sure that your original data sources are uh, marked as disable load or let's say uncheck the enable load because you do not want to load those data sources however those data sources are needed to be loaded uh, to to load the final query to load into power bi this rule helps the performance of your model and saving the memory engine of power bi Another important thing about combining sources, to, combining data sources together, not just append, is uh, making sure that you do not load extra data into Power BI. These two queries now, uh, right now will be loaded in Power BI and they are consuming extra memory. But what I want to be loaded in Power BI is only the final query. Uh, the other two queries are not required. But if I go there and right click and say delete, it will not allow me to delete that query because it is used in append1. Let me rename this append1 to create a better uh, meaning for this. Let's call it course students. Okay, um, so I cannot delete those. If I load these, I will have three tables loaded into Power BI. What should I do? I can right click on these tables that I don't want them to be loaded in Power BI and uncheck enable load. Uh, when I uncheck this option, you see it is grayed out. It means this query will not be loaded in Power BI, but it is part of the uh, refresh process and it will load the data into course students. Some people think that this is uh, stopping the refresh. No, it's not stopping the refresh. It will be still part of your uh, refresh process, but those queries individually will not be loaded into Power BI. Okay, you learned about uh, 
append what about merge what scenario you use merge for let's say you have to separate data sources and, uh, and their data structure is totally different they do not have the same structure but you want to flatten that structure let's say students is one table and uh, courses is another table you you want to combine these together students who took specific courses who are enrolled in that courses you want to have all in one table there are some scenarios that you want to flatten the structure you want to combine data tables together it's not a good idea to bring all tables as is in power bi and make the relationship because you may end up with hundreds of relationships sometimes you need to flatten that structure and uh, that is a scenario that you can use merge merge is giving you ability to combine data sources with one or more than one uh, fields of relationship which we call it link fields joining fields you can choose that field and create the relationship let's check this example here i have this query that i we just created which is all the students of all courses but we just have the course name uh, we have also another query i'm just getting data from that another let's say table which has course information and this course information has the title of the course which is the same title that we had over there some other information like timing of the course capacity of the course and things like that i want to combine these two together i'll load that here as well i want to combine these two together instead of having one table for course one table for course students i want to combine them together now you have to be careful when you are doing it because you do not want to combine everything together and end up with one big table. Also, you do not want to load each table separately, all of them like hundreds of tables and create relationship in Power BI based on those. There are always best practices designing based on star schema and things like that, which is outside of topic of this uh, video. Um, um, I'll cover that a little bit later in some other videos. Let's check it out how this works uh, in terms of combining right now. I'll select one of these tables, let's say course table. And I go to the home tab again. At the end, I choose append queries as new. Uh, sorry, it is not append, this is merge. Um, so I, I go to merge queries and merge queries as new. Append is only when the structure is the same. This is not the same structure. You can see course students, different column. Uh, course different set of columns they have some column which is kind of the same like course title but that is the only column which is uh, the same everything else is kind of different uh, so I'll go to home tab merge queries merge queries as new and I choose uh, the first query which is course in this case and the second query course student and I choose what is the merge field, the join field. It is important uh, to choose the right field. Here, title is my right field. It doesn't need to have the same name. You can see here it's called course and there it's called title, doesn't matter. I just select that column uh, and then click on OK. If I have uh, more than one column as a join, then I select them in order, hold the control key and this will give you ability to select them in an order okay I select those and click on OK so what is the result of a merge the result of a merge is uh, your first query which is course you can see these are all columns from the course table with a column at the end which we call it usually structured column a structured column is a column that have a structure in every cell you can see it is not a single value it is a table if I click on a blank area here not on the table, on a blank area here, it actually show me that table preview down at the bottom. Let me bring it up here. So this table now means these are students of math course. Or if I click on this, physics, we don't have any students for this course, in our data set at least. English, uh, we have two students of this course, right? Now you can combine these together with clicking on this option uh, because the structured column will not be loaded into Power BI. Power BI does not understand a table inside another uh, table. You have to flatten that structure if you want. Uh, and when you are flattening it, you can choose which columns you want from the other table. Let's say from the other table, I want first name, last name, and ID of student. 
Okay, first name, last name, and ID of the students. I will call this student ID. Right. So now I have uh, all of these combined. Uh, I have the first two rows for math course and the students of that. The uh, first three rows actually. Then uh, row number four, four and five are students of English course, and row number uh, the last row is physics students. You can see some of these rows are a little bit different. Some of them are matching between the both data sets. Some of them are not matching. That is why you need to be careful about merge type. When you are merging data sources together, one of the most important thing is to check do you choose the right join kind or not. The right join kind or the right merge type is giving you the output that you want. Sometimes you want rows that are matching between table A and table B. Sometimes you have table A, table B, and you want only part of table B which is inside table A. Sometimes you want part of table B which has table A in it. Depends on what output you want, you may choose the join type that you want. Sometimes you want table A without the matching rows of table B. It would be a smaller section of table A. Different types of merge will uh, be possible through different merge kinds or join kinds. In Power Query, you can choose that merge kind. Let's check it out. Uh, when you do the merge, you can actually select the right merge type with clicking on the setting of the merge option, you always have the join kind and you can choose what you want. There are different options. You can get rows that are only matching between two tables, rows that are in the first table matching in the second table, rows that are in both tables, rows that are only in one of these tables, not the matching. Depends on what you want, you can choose the right join kind. Similar to uh, append, Merge is also a good option and it will give you ability to combine data sources together. In this video, you've learned how easy it is to use Merge, how easy it is to use Append, what scenarios you have to use each. Uh, I have another uh, uh, video about explaining every single Merge type and details of that. Uh, if you are interested to learn more about Power BI and interested in these videos, go and subscribe to the button below and you will learn more free videos of Power BI like this.